Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm here in my new craft room. Oh, let me turn off my volume of my camera. Oh, that's enough, Leslie. Enough of that chit chat. My, cam my uh, YouTube is on my laptop. So, um, I just wanted to double check that you guys can see me and hear me okay because on Friday when we were doing this setup, um, there was a little bit of echo on the microphone on this camera. So, um, yeah, let me know if you can hear me. Give me a thumbs up. And it's not too um, echoey and things are a bit distant. Um, I've changed the camera. Oh, someone on Facebook says, I see and I hear. Thank you so much. Yay! Now, who's on? We've got Amy on. Amy, you've asked for watercolor. Someone else has asked for something using um, the Pear Blossom Press lights. That's a great idea too. And um, lots of love out there for Natalie. Yes, big shout out to Natalie. And especially a big shout out to Natalie because this week is her last week. Her contract, she was here on a contract for a fixed term and this week is our last week so we're all really really sad to be losing Natalie um, but on Friday we're we're ditched in the office and we're going to Aberdeen to have a big lunch and to do an escape room so if you're looking for us on Friday you might get an out of office reply because we're off having fun and celebrating Natalie for the awesome person that she is so yes I'm absolutely delighted to hear that um, she managed to catch your double order um because we've all been there right we've all we've all ordered things and then um like gone to put if, if you're like me you go to put it away and you're like oh that's already there <laughs> yeah we've all done that <laughs> um candy's here uh to lisa ashley thumbs up whoop, whoop, whoop. amazing so good well it's monday the weekend flew by did it fly by for you guys too? I'm absolutely, like, I just can't believe where the weekend goes sometimes. But anyway, I'm here to get crafty. Morgan's not here today, so you've just got me on my solo. Um, and Amy, you have requested a watercolor, but I'd like to know a little bit more information about what you'd like for that. And my suggestion to you is that um, if I get an idea, if you tell me exactly what it is you'd like to like me to do in watercolor, then what I can do is either on Friday night or next Monday, we'll do a watercolor, color, but I'll set the camera up for like here. So I have, um, a top down and then one at the side which is more uh, close up and I think that will be more um, just a lot more beautiful to watch I think a lot nicer to watch so we'll do that but let me know in the comments what kind of watercolor things are you looking for are you looking for um, like, uh, like a florally thing or any sort of watercolor or watercolor background let me know in the comments All right let's flip this thing around hopefully I'm positioned kind of in the right spot um, I pulled out, oh, Elena's here. Hi, Les, just thought I would check in and say hello. Hello, Elena. Elena used to be my boss many moons ago. Crazy. Can't believe where the time has actually gone to. I was thinking that um, I would make a card today featuring the box of love. And the reason that I was inspired to do this is a couple of things all coming together. Um, which is the fact that I was doing some photos for our upcoming release next month and I used two colors that I don't think I've ever really put together before and I love them and I was like that's so pretty I want to make a Valentine's card like that and then I was looking through my card samples because I'm putting together um, some projects for Ruth who is going to be doing a little um, event with her girl guides and I've been looking at lots of cards and I saw these little robots and I thought I do not get to use these robots enough I love it Laura is loving the spring nails thank you these are actually the ones that you stick on have you guys seen them before they're like um, what are they called semi cured gel nails so they kind of come like stickers and they're very weird to put on I, I when I was putting them on I was like oh I don't really like these no these are these are not going to work no 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 and then um after about so you stick them on trim them off put them in the gel lamp 
And then after about an hour or so, they just feel like your nails again. I think for the first little while, I was a bit panicky about them, that they weren't going to stay put. But no, they're doing great. I mean, I've only had them on since Friday, so I can't yet attest to how well they will stay put, but we'll see. And they're very pretty. I'm loving them. So this little guy is the from the Box of Love stamp set, an oldie buddy goodie. And speaking of oldies and goodies, we have had a massive clear out. Um, if you were here on Friday, you would have heard me say, we have put together like a retired section, the vault, we call it, the heavy doodle vault. And um, these guys are, uh, once they're sold out, they're sold out, but we've heavily reduced them so that we can clear up some space in the in the Heffy HQ, quite frankly, because it just seems like I keep buying more things, between more sequins, more stuff. <laughs> With every release that comes, I'm like, oh, eventually I'm going to have to do something, and I've put it off for way too long. Craig has been talking about it for years years literally years uh, let's get some of these little baby boys amy says i think watercolor images would be nice do you mean like stamped images that are watercolor watercolored I'm thinking about shading with watercolors for images i don't use alcohol markers i want the images to come to life with watercolors okay so just stamping critters or whatever and then using watercolors to color them in. We can do that, not a problem at all. And Rosie, is that Rosie? Rosie Rosie says, I'm on a no buy January. It didn't go well. Oh, yeah. When it was like the 4th of January, I was like, I don't mean to brag, but I've not yet put anything on Amazon this year. <laughs> but it didn't last. No by January. Hmm. That's all well and good until there's like loads of bargains. Normally you get loads of bargains in January. Stamped, I have stamped uh, one of the these big sort of digital heart boys. And I'm just going to do a little selection of the little ones. I don't know whether they're going to make it on the card. Who knows? Time will tell. Time will tell. Teresa says, I don't use alcohol markers either. Ah, it's funny because it's, it's always just one of those things that is my go-to, but yeah, you're right. We should mix it up a little, maybe do some watercolors and maybe do some colored pencil or other things like that. Not that fun too. All right, so let's grab a piece of card because I want to create my background today using the Notre Dame stencil. Now, I really like this stencil. I don't know if you've seen it here. Uh, can I do a zoom zoom? So admittedly, it looks a little trippy from this, like when it like glares, if you look at it too much, but the way that it's designed, it kind of looks like, sorry, stained glass window. And it gives a really pretty result. In my humble opinion. So I'm going to also add on, this is the frame from the Elm Street dies. I love this frame. It's really fun. And whimsical. You want to put a sentiment down here and then start 
my stencil around about here. So let's mask this off with some memo tape. Here looks like a good spot. Now you can of course measure it if you want to get it exact. I'm more of an eyeball kind of person. And let's add this on here. Teresa says, no by January is going really poorly for me. <laughs> and uh, Anita is saying, always like the look of stencils, but rarely use them. So this will be fun. Yes, stencils are great. I love the way that they can make, I mean, stencils are, make beautiful patterns. It almost looks like pattern paper but in the colors that you want and the style that you want. So, absolutely, I think it's um, amazing. Here's the two colors, milled lavender and saltwater taffy. So let's get some blending paraphernalia. Milled lavender is here. You be quiet, Mr. Manny. Hey, what's up? And salt water taffy. Let's see. Amy says, I bought new storage. I de and reorganized my craft room this month. I'm so much happy with the new setup and I feel more inspired. I like to buy an organization instead of crafty supplies. Yes. I love that for you. Amazing. I totally know what you mean. I find that um, <gasps> Natalie's just messaged me the new pattern paper pads have arrived. Yay. Anyway, I find that um, I love organizing sometimes more than crafting, dare I say it. The root of me. I think it's um, really nice to have things. I like it to look pretty, but I also know it needs to be functional. So at the bottom section here, I've gone for my milled lavender, salt water taffy at the top, and a little blendy blendy in the middle. Oops. Laura says, Anita, I put my box of stencils right in my eye line when I sit at my desk and I use them a lot more now. That's a great idea. And this is my favorite bit when you reveal the stencil. Because sometimes, sometimes I feel sorry for stencils because when I make the stencils, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. And then whenever it's put in the packet, it's like this, it does not look like anything special in the packet, but the actual result is beautiful. It doesn't do itself justice. Yay! So pretty. Peel these off. Elena says, you can come and organize a room for me if you'd like. Since we moved, I've not got a craft room. No! Where did you move to, Elena? Pretty. Did you move far? All right, so this is going to go on top like this. This little guy is going to go down here. And then I'll have a sentiment down here, I think. But because I want to make it pop, I'm going to um, color in this panel as well. 
Let's trim this down. Oh, the other thing is we're down to our last 10 trimmers. Can you believe it? Whenever we order um, supplies, especially of new products like the trimmers, the die cutting machine, um, because of space, we always need to order, um, like, go easy. We need to, we need to um, like, not go overboard because we don't know how long it's going to take to go through them. And the trimmers have gone so fast. Can't believe it. When they arrived, it's, like, piled up to, you know, your head of... Um, boxes you can't move in the whole um the whole office what we've got through them we have more on order Amy says, are you retiring sets to make room for music? Yes, we have a massive, massive, massive retirement section. Go and check it out. Sorry, let me fix that. Go and check it out. We launched it last week. And um, we have some things are already all sold out. So do not dilly-dally. Run, don't walk, as they say because things like Perfect Day already gone. And we're down to our last sort of single digits of quite a few items as well. But the store does tell you whenever it gets, I think below 10 maybe, tells you. I'm swapping from Distress Ink to Distress Oxides because I feel like the milled lavender oxide is actually a bit lighter, more uplifting. So I'll just blend the two together. Why not? Let's do the same with the saltwater taffy. The other thing we have done, for those of you who might be interested, I know I spoke about this briefly on my Friday night live stream, is that today, just about two hours ago, we have launched um, a design team call because we are looking for people to apply applicants for our design team. Please. Check that out on the blog as well, if that interests you. All right. Do, 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 do. We have saltwater taffy mixed in with a milled lavender. Let's die cut this out. Anita says, good idea. I go to dyes more often than not. Uh, though did stamp cuties a lot on my on my lot of my Christmas cards. Mm -hmm. Laura says, I would not have reached for those two colours to go together, but they're looking great. I know. I do think that the oxides look prettier together than the inks, but I'm I'm okay with that because it all all tie in together. Let's run this through the machine. I'm gonna take a bit of tape. My Gemini plates are warped beyond recognition. And because they're so warped, because they're so warped, I am, um, every, like, everything moves, everything moves around. I don't really know what the solution is there. Although some people say you can put them in the put them in the oven, but 
That's fine for the cutting plates, but what about the other things? <laughs> the um, plastic ones, that's not so handy. Okay, so we'll keep this for our future project. And we can either do it like this, where we have the pink against the purple. We can do it like this, where it matches the colors, which I quite like the look of this. I think it looks really fun. Let's get a card blank. Lena has moved to Norfolk. Oh, cool. I did not get, I did not stay on the line there. That's okay. Everything's fixable. Okay. No, I'm not going to stick this on just yet because I want to put my sentiment on there. Let's grab my Misty. Anita says, I prefer the same colour the same colour. Yeah, me too in this instance, actually, me too. So I was thinking my, oh, sorry, a card full of love down here. Um, we've got other sentiments here too. My heart beeps for you. Cuteness overload, program to party. But I think a card full of love is just going to be perfect. Laura says, I changed up my plate sandwich to a clear and a green double-sided plate taped together either side of my die and card you need it you need to walk me through that so you have a plain one of these and a green cutting mat is that what you're saying well a clear plate and then a green cutting mat you don't have one to hand but i know the ones you mean and so you have two like that and you have it as a sandwich is that not too thick interesting Interesting. I want to know more about that. <laughs> I want to know more. This sentiment is not straight. Let's try that. Now, I'm convinced there's going to be a color in here for my Catherine Poodle inks. Pink champagne might work. do see do was the other one I was thinking of. Let's have a look. Pink champagne. And let's pucker up. Look. Or do si do. Ooh, do si do. I think do si do is going to be the winner here. It might be quite dark. I'm okay with that. Gemini double-sided cutting plates. Is that a thing that you can buy? I want to know the answers. Guess who's going to be sliding into your DMs after this? I know what it is. I 
Amy is saying, this is one of my favorite stamp sets. Yay! I remember drawing it as well. It just came together so quickly. Cuteness. All right, let's get this little guy colored in. I'm actually going to color him blue, I think. Or teal. Blue or teal. Turquoisey, turquoisey teal? No, blue. I can't decide. I'll lay down a little base color first of all. If you hear um, snoring noises, that would be my dog over there having a good old snorey worry. I've added some dark areas. I'm just going to blend them out. This stamp set, actually, whoever mentioned about pear blossom lights, this stamp set's good for that too. Laura says, I send you a link to Jeff McGuire explaining it. And Anita says, always teal or turquoise, best co colours ever. I happen to agree. I'm more of a teal and pink kind of girl. Which just happens to be the two colours in heavy <laughs> A light blue and a pink. All right, I'm gonna bring in some shading, a gray, because I like it whenever. Er, there's like little shadows happening. Good. Happy wee boy. All right, let's bring some pink into these parts. And I'm going to leave the edges lighter. And then bring the color into the center. It just gives it a little bit of a dimensional look. Pretty. Ness is here. Hey, Nessa. Ness is there plugging me again. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you, Ness. All right, let's cut these little guys out. Okay. 
And what I might do is um, add some, like a wink of Stella, a clear glitter brush marker to my robot, which will give a glittery or pearlescent sheen to him. And that kind of makes it look like it's metallic. It's one of my favorite things to do. So cute. Amy says, are you planning out the next release? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, today and on Friday, I was taking photos of a whole lot of cards using the next release. And I'm hoping by the end of this week, I'll have the catalog all done and uh, sent to our retail partners. That's the plan anyway. But our pattern paper arrived just whenever this live went live went on. So that means we can now ship out all our design team packages and they can start making cards as well. So that's good news. Although we've had a little bit of a interruption with Royal Mail because they, uh, those of you in the UK will probably be aware that there was an issue with Royal Mail where um, I think they had some sort of like cyber attack or something. So they aren't able to send international packages. So we've not been able to send any international packages for the last week or so. So it does mean that I'm on my desk outside. There is a ever increasing tower of uh, international orders, but thankfully everyone's been really understanding, so that's good. Uh, wait till February though, as we're all on a spending round. Oh, it'll not be till February anyway, it's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, here I've got a card full of love. This little guy is gonna go here, and then this is gonna go here as well. And we have a selection of little hearts around about. Now I think we need to add some dimension. So I'm just, this card base is a fraction too tall. Trim that off. And I'm going to stick this on using some foam tape. Of course, happy to do the foam tape, the best tape there is, maybe biased, who knows, or I'm truthful, <laughs> and you decide. Nessa said, what's that wiggly car frame from? This is for, from even, the Elm Street dies. I should show you them in just a second. It was part of our Halloween release. They look like this. Elm Street dies. And you get the frame. Oopsies, the other one's going haywire. You get the frame. You get this really cool tree, which I know it looks like gnarly, but you can add flowers to it and it looks really pretty. And then you get this little house on the hill and this bit here creates um, a layered piece for behind it that you can like, for example, cut out of yellow cardstock and then all the little windows will be lit up. It's perfect for shaker cards as well or light up cards. You get a little spider and dropping down and then a little corner frame with 
the spider web. But the frame is definitely one of my most used frames. It's so good. Amy says, I don't do spending bands. Just right. You do you, Amy. So I think this will be used as a Valentine's card, although it just is a card full of love, so it could be used for anything else. Do you guys have any plans for Valentine's Day? Let me know. And Amy, if you have any particular um, images that you would like to see watercolored, let me know. And then I can plan a card using those stamps. How does that sound? Does that sound like a plan? All of these ready. So we can stick this little robot onto our card. He can go on first and then we'll get a sense of where we want everything else to go. I love the way that he pops with that blue. Oh, straighten this up. Super cute. The other thing um, that I could do which is always fun, is to cover the little guy in glossy accents or um, crystal glaze. And that will mean that he'll dry. Shiny, shiny. Um, and that gives him a bit more of an industrial look as well is really fun. Let's go for the um, glitter brush marker. And for those of you who are long-term watchers, you will know that I also love to add a little bit of the Sakura glaze pen on the eyes and I haven't done that in ages because the um, glaze pens I can no longer get them for the store which is really annoying here he is can you see him really cute now tell me the truth doesn't that um, Notre Dame stencil look really cool I love it. it. Looks like pattern paper. And I really like when you can create a blended background. Um, and a background that isn't, I guess it's not like the main event. It's something that, um, something that sort of blends into the background and that it uh, makes the rest of the card pop. That's what I really like. And the Notre Dame one is one of my favorites for that. And it looks really cool if you do it in a rainbow effect. So it really looks like a 
stained glass window that way. Really, really fun. Luan on Facebook is saying this is so cool. And Amy saying super cute. And Laura says uber cute. Yay! And Laura says this would make a really good shaker card too. Absolutely. Shaky, shaky. Definitely the frame is really good for shaking too. Nita says, yep, I need to give stencils a go. Uh, use those distress box like inks rather than looking at them. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is all for today. Join me on Friday for my Come Craft With Me session. That is at 9 p.m. UK time. So find out what time that is uh, for you by having a look on YouTube. You can also go on to our upcoming stream section and hit the bell. And that means that you will be notified whenever we go live. Um, you probably want to also hit subscribe because you don't want to miss all this fun, do you? Um, and Amy, yes, let me know if there is something in particular that you would like to see being watercolored and I will see if I can make that happen for you. Have a great Monday and enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.